guys, I'm back today with a quick review of the MUA new eyebrow pencils. They are called the Power Brow uh, from the MUA Lux collection. Uh, and it's a shape and highlights. Now, I'm just reviewing the actual shape part of it. Um, I'm actually just trying the highlight for the first time now. And it's okay, I'll probably review that in a separate video, um, but I'm not really interested in that part of it. All I'm interested in, the actual eyebrow pencil. Um, so apologies if you were really interested in the highlight. I haven't reviewed that part, I'm just on a massive hunt for the ultimate eyebrow pencil from the drugstore. And so this is the part that was interesting to me. Uh, the colours that I picked up were Fair, which is this one, and I also got, I think it's called Medium Brown, let's just have a look. Mid brown it's called, which is, oh, this is slightly darker. Oh my god, I've lost it completely. Where on earth? Oh, it's gone inside the actual cap. Hmm. That's not ideal. In the product, you only get actually that much. In this pencil, you get that much actual product, um, that much actual brow pencil. Um, which is not very much. I know that it's not expensive, I think it's £3, but that's not a lot of, of brow product if that's what you're buying it for. Um, and, additional to that, it actually fell out of its casing and went into the lid, which is not great. Let me just see if I can put it back in again. So it seems to work okay, but that's definitely something to note that that could happen. Um, so yeah, I got the mid-brown and I got the fair. Uh, really, I'm looking for something to replace my Smashbox, which I've mentioned time and time again, you will be aware of. I'm completely in love with it, and the reason that I like it is it's a little bit drier, it's not waxy at all, and uh, the angle is okay, I'm not particularly bothered about the shape of the eyebrow pencil, but it has got an angle, which is quite nice, um, and it's mainly the colour. It's a taupe, which is kind of ashy, it's not got that warm reddishness to it, and if you are blonde, it's very, very difficult to find an ash-toned eyebrow pencil. I've had them from MAC and they didn't last very long and the Smashbox generally I think is a really good deal mainly because it does last me quite a while, um, maybe three months. So £19 is expensive but it lasts me for quite a while, like I say, the MAC one lasted me about a month and I just couldn't justify buying it again. Um, but if you are absolutely searching and searching for something I would definitely recommend that you give the Smashbox a go. That being said, I have looked for some alternatives like I say and I wanted to review these because many of you asked me to review um, the MUA Lux range, and this was what jumped out at me first of all. So, I'm going to show you me applying the product. Um, it is kind of a fine point, um, or like a technical point pencil, so that's how I applied it. Um, the only problem that I found was that it was a little bit waxy. It did kind of cling to my eyebrows and kind of mash them together a little bit. It does so annoy me when that happens, uh, but it does have quite a good pigment. So if I compare it, for example, to the Avon, the Avon is too waxy for me, really. I try it all the time and I'm like, ah, oh. if you're looking to fill in your brows and they're very sparse, then you're not looking for something waxy. You're looking for something that's more dry. Um, really, a powder would be great, but I find that I, st I also need something else as well. Um, I suppose you could put a powder on top of the waxy pencil and that would kind of mattify and make it look a bit more natural but that's a little bit too heavy for me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this this really was only let down by the fact that it, ha it was a little bit too waxy. Um, I did try both pencils, I did want to see kind of what both colours did so I, I went in a little bit darker in uh, kind of the, the arches of my brows just to see what it was like. I do like both shades, I think the shade of the fair one is very nice. Um, probably the best that I found at the drugstore. The only thing is the consistency being too waxy. So I will persevere with these. Um, I'm definitely impressed with the packaging for three pounds and I'm, even the highlight. I mean, like I say, I'm not reviewing the highlight because I didn't try it out properly. But it seems very nice when I swatch it on my hand. It's kind of it's got a really nice pearl to it. It's very um, light. A lot of them are a little bit chalky. The one from Soap and Glory I hated. Um, but you know, as a little additional product, that's not too bad. But I am a little bit disappointed with the packaging in that, you know, it can fall apart and obviously you don't get very much of it. Um, so yeah, if you've tried this, let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. But I thought I would let you know that I tried it because I do speak so highly of Smashbox One and I wanted to let you know that this is actually not that bad. And if your eyebrows aren't so sparse, then you probably will really like this one and it's a fraction of the price. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.